Right, in this video I'm going to work through a second example of using Kruskal's algorithm to find a minimum spanning tree. So this is the network that we're going to be working with in this example. Um, you can once again see it as a series of computers that need to be networked, for example, or um, you can just consider it as I do as just a number of points and some edges okay, that we need to connect in the most least expensive possible way, so with the least weight. So the first thing to do with Kruskal's album is to list the arcs in ascending order of weight. So um, first of all, I spotted BE with weight 2. I've also got FD with weight 2. It doesn't matter which way round I write them. Um, I've got AF of weight 3. I've got EC of weight 3 as well. Um, then I have FE for 4. I've got two fives. I've got ED and AB. And then I've got DC for 6. And BC for 7. Usually a good idea at this point to make sure I've got the same number of edges here as I do actually in the graph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so I've got that sorted. And as I'm adding these uh, edges on, and I'm including them, I'm going to draw a diagram of how the edges are being added. Okay, so I've got A, B, C, D, E, F. So in some cases, some questions, you will be asked to draw the minimum spanning tree. So um, this isn't a necessity for maybe uh, finding the minimum spanning tree, but it can be part of a part B, for example. Okay. So we look down our list. Uh, we're going to start right at the top. We pick the arc of least weight, so BE is selected, so BE connects there. Then I've got FD, okay, check whether it makes a cycle or not, but connecting F to D, uh, that does not make a cycle, so I include that. AF, okay, that won't make a cycle either, that was of weight 2, that one, so that's of weight 3, so I select that one. Then I've got EC. Okay, EC won't create a cycle either. And then I've got FE, that won't create a cycle. So FE with 4. I spot that they are now all connected because ED would now make a cycle. Okay, I would make a cycle there. So ED can't be selected. AB would have made a cycle. DC would make a cycle, oh sorry, straight line through, and BC would connect and make a cycle as well, okay, make a triangle, okay. So once all the vertices are connected, you can just disregard all of the remaining edges. So we have a total of the minimum spanning tree is 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. So 4, 7, 10, 14. Okay, so that's our minimum spanning tree total, and that would solve the problem.